Doombots, we have news. Is it good news? Is it bad news? Well, we checked half of it out over on Valley Flying's channel. Channel? Channel. We checked it out on Valley Flying's channel, and now we're going to find out the other half of this post. Was it what we were expecting? We know for a fact it's not going to be the stuff that they're trying to fix yet, but let's see what it is. Anyway, real quick, let me introduce you to my friend you've never heard of before, Valley Flying. What's up, Valley Hi. Flying? Hi, my name is Valley Flying. I have a channel on YouTube, and sometimes I stream. Oh. Thank you for having me on today. Oh, so what, what type of content do you do? Uh, normally about uh, Marvel Strike Force. It's, it's this mobile game that I play sometimes. Interesting. We're in a good spot then, I guess. So we can start yeah. talking about Marvel Strike Force together as a Holy family. Holy crap. Is this blog post about Marvel Strike Force? It is now. What, what a coincidence. All right. right. So over on your channel, of which there will be links literally everywhere, uh, we talked about the new features that they added to the game. They are adding costumes, which I incorrectly thought was called outfits. My bad. Sorry, everybody. Uh, and then they talked about I'm still gonna call them skins. I'm still gonna call them skins. They're skins. We know they're skins. <laughs> like, and then we had ISO 82s, uh, the new strike pass. We had some opinions, and then some exclusive original character. We all had opinions on that. We talked about it uh, on your channel. We'll make sure that information uh, goes live to everybody. On my yes. channel, we're gonna all discuss right. improvements. All and right, this read is why this. I haven't. I haven't even read this yet. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going oh, on. We're waiting. Come on. It. It. Oh, I'm so ready. Okay, oh, yeah. so starting with the right. first one, okay. let me be the person to tell you, saved squad tabs. Woo! That tabs is very is a sexy word. I will read it. Okay. In my sexy voice. Ooh, We've yes. been steadily rolling out improvements over the past years to the squad select screen and the associated character rosters and squad saved screens. With many base improvements made, we're now able to move on to something that has been highly requested. Save squad tabs. Yes. Yes. Should I do my air horn, my DJ air horn for that? Yes. Okay. I won't hear it. But <laughs> yeah, oh, baby. I did hear it. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I know you hear it. <laughs> Instead of having only one list of save squads, you have multiple tabs and lists associated with several of the most popular game modes like Arena, Blitz, and Raid. <gasps> We've been asking for this for years. Finally, guys, this is awesome. All right. Well, that this, this, wait, wait, wait. All right. <laughs> and then the monkey paw. Does it get better? Does it get better? While that, no. While that larger feature no. is being worked on, which we talked about last week or so when we were doing this, we plan to okay. add more save squads in the next game version okay. as a stopgap. So right. the next so game version the being band -aid. the next The band-aid is coming, but yeah. later this year we'll have the real fix that everybody wants. All right. So so Good. all I ask, Good. I'm super happy. I'm, I'm I, uh, elated because this is great. All I ask is that the while they might be labeled Arena, Blitz, Raid, whatever, that they're not exclusively linked to Arena, Blitz, and Raid. Like don't don't put more constrictions on them if you don't have to. You know, I Blitz, Blitz Blitz is a different case though. Blitz is a different case because we gotta cycle through those save squads. So the Blitz one, yes. Yeah, but, but that's other, an easy fix that, too. Whatever. It's like you could cycle through tab one, tab two, you know? Like, okay, okay. It, that, it, that, it, that's cool. I'm thinking of like how I would fix it as a developer. And I'm like, these are possibilities. These are totally reasonable ways to do it. And I'm okay with that. But let's be clear Blitz is currently and will always be the version of the game that will require the most save squads. Arena. Yeah might require five to to six if that, max if, if you're if you're like kind of tweaking some stuff and raid raid can require like 10 to 15 depending on what different you know things you're testing as you move on and i'm not saying that they should limit it to there but i'm saying comparatively blitz will always need more so i'd rather have like we'll say four or five tabs where you can label them and use them accordingly if the opportunity arises for them to do it, then Why I'd rather they mention they arena, not war. I mean, how because many RTA, do we need? <laughs> let me let me tell you guys a little secret for those who watch okay. my channel and for those from Valley's channel. They're in the future of this game. What they haven't said yet is that arena is now going to encompass our arena and the real time arena. And the reason that's going to happen is because you're probably going to start seeing some characters sooner than you think that say in arena or in arenas to imply okay. that the characters are particularly good in both RTA and regular arena. That's <sighs> what I've heard. So they're going to treat arena as one concept. And okay. there's the, because both they're PVP, just one is true PVP and one is like yeah. 
like ghost okay. PvP technically. Okay. So that's yeah. why you see the words like arena a lot because they're they're gonna in the future move them together. So I'm happy about this. I don't think anybody is mad about this. We might be a little bit salty about how it turns out, but overall more save squads is no, what everybody I, needs. I agree. Just yeah. at this announcement, very, very happy. Maybe the the implementation won't be as good, but I like it. I like what I see so far. Raid season milestone rewards. Another thing we talked All about right. the last time this came up. Again, sexy voice time. Oh, yeah. This is something we mentioned in a previous post, but is worth mentioning again, as it is an important feature that is due to be spruced up with the metagame. Currently, many alliances tend to finish the raid season milestone rather quickly, literally 24 hours. So we are looking to improve the long-term experience with more top-tier milestones and additional rewards, including orange gear. I said more milestones, right? Not not spacing them out over a bigger score, right? They said more mile. This says more top-tier milestones. It doesn't say it doesn't say that it's gonna take it longer to get these milestones. Yeah, like great, good, wonderful, do it. You know what I mean? Good. Like yes, good. This is this, like give us more stuff. Give like yes. I don't I don't want free stuff. I don't. I want what I do to be worth stuff. So when we finish the ra like I don't like the idea of caps on things. If you like, there's no reason for this for any milestone to have a cap, right? Like why, 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 why does Blitz end at eight three? Like let it go up to four trillion. Like if you could keep fighting teams that are a million power and winning, like you get those points. Like congratulations, you know. If you like, why change that? Uh, in 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 RTA, you know, like you have the set things, but like just let people fight more and assume that's going to happen with more stuff in RTA as it comes out. With the raid season milestones, just be like, there's 400. What are you going to try? Like, yes, you could theoretically unlock them all if you tried, but you don't have to unlock them all. That's the point. Just oh, a rewarded oh. but you, building You, you know stuff. how the community is. Like, how are we supposed to get to milestone 400? This is impossible. And yeah, I, I, I see well, that there's very, a very slight... badly. I get what you're saying. I get the rationale, but with but this like, computer, I, like, are you, we need pander. to complete all of them. How are we going to complete all of them? I mean... Yeah, like don't be, be but here's the reason why. The problem isn't that you have to complete all of them. That's what the I think the community is is most angry about. It's not that like like the 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 core milestone event, right? People weren't yeah. mad like how are we supposed to send 5000 cores? Yeah, people were mad about that cuz it's ridiculous. But like how are we supposed to spend 5000 cores to get these rewards? That's the issue. Like yeah. if the raid milestone if every time you cleared a reward, right? Uh -huh. You got more raid credits and another orb and that was like the milestone payout because that's what it is right you clear a milestone you get like a, a handful of tier fours if if once you reach a certain point it just starts duplicating the rewards mm -hmm. then it's it's less of a if you don't do this you're gonna fall behind oh okay. and so and, you're yeah. saying it just it just repeats it doesn't yeah. get like it doesn't have all the gear 15 pieces and yeah, all exactly i'm stuff. not At saying have end, 400 milestones uh, with like a handful of good uh, rewards that, that, i'm saying like sense. if it's like if it's whatever not, like, the end good, is dude. just be like like dude you see that in other games too even world of warcraft like when you get reputation once you've maxed out your reputation every thousand rep you get they're like here's a oh. bag full of stuff and you're like, oh, cool, I'm not farming it anymore. But like, as I play through the game, as we accrue more stuff, I'll take this bag full of stuff. And maybe that stuff mm. is good, and maybe it's not. Right. And it doesn't matter. Because as a player of any game, I like yeah. to know that when I do a task, something gets better. And, and that's one of the biggest issues I see. So I look forward to seeing raid milestone seasons. But honestly, at this point, we've been getting nothing for so long that like anything yeah. will be better. And I'm afraid that that's what they're gonna do. I'm afraid this they're gonna be like, the here's most anything. Hilarious thing the last time they had that blog post. Here's two superior basic catalysts. Like, oh, thanks. Yeah. All right, awesome. and now we move into raid key tracking, which right, so this is this affects alliance leaders. But yeah. anybody that's not a uh, leading alliance, I, I don't think this too much. I, let's this see what is they a, say. Let's see what they say. This is news, right? So we'll just yeah. treat it like news. Raid key tracking, sexy voice time. Activated. Oh yeah. This is something that's been requested by many alliances and officers. The ability to see which members of the alliance are contributing those vital raid keys. We know that alliance leaders have additional QOL improvement requests and the time and the team is reviewing those to evaluate what we can address this year. Now, good. <laughs> that's, that's what am I supposed to do good. on this? Be like, no, do more. Good. like, okay, cool. Good. Yes, I would like good. that. I would like that. <laughs> 
I would like rate like I'm just tell you right now. I'm not an alliance leader. If I was an me alliance either, leader, me either. This yeah, affects I would, me zero. No, I don't have that. Good, I don't though. have that patience. But if I was, I would like a couple of things. The first yeah. thing I'd like is the ability to like make a banner so that when you log in for the day, it tells everybody, "Hey, like I like using Discord, but like Discord should be for specific stuff." If I'm like, "Hey guys, we're pushing for a hundred percent on Gamma Four, you know, Four Not Three or whatever," like I want people to log in and see that. I want that to be the first thing they see, like, and then they can go to chat and figure stuff out. I don't want it to be like a mm. post that someone makes that locks in. That kind of thing is something I could see. Um, tr tracking the like most people track how much damage players do in a raid or how far they go, but like that's relevant, you know. Like, hey, um, this is where we're gonna go. Maybe something else that could make re more things more relevant for alliances is like war and raids if you could just like tag a person to a lane yeah as opposed to following anything else like i know those are silly and those are a lot of work but they are qol improvements that will improve the quality of the game i'm not ask i'm not begging for them i'm not mad that they're not here but those are things that i would like to see from a player knowing what it's like to lead an alliance and you know working very hard with leadership in the last couple of alliances i've been in anyway so i get that and it's cool good like what are we supposed to do be mad about yeah. it you know no that's, this that's one good. though Right, this is right, interesting, right? This is this is uh, uh, red stars for I don't know what is this character I've never seen this name before. Ul, Ul Ultron, <laughs> red stars for Ultron. Now if now before I read this, I'm gonna just remind people because mm -hmm. this happened in stream recently that somebody was very confident that uh, because Cerebro said in his last interview with so-and-so, what's-his-face, or some other content creator that's not in this video right now, so who cares? <laughs> he said, there are no plans to release Red Stars for Ultron in the face of me telling people that like there will be more Red Stars for Ultron in time. I don't know if it's DD5, but it's going to happen because he needs to scale up. Uh, four yeah. is probably the starting point. Here they are. Let's read about it. The team okay. wants to give additional value to opening basic red star orbs. Oh God, I already don't like this. And is we're doing he, this is, by introducing. Is... <laughs> we didn't even get the first sentence and like, uh oh, this is not <laughs> yeah, right. Good. Like, uh, uh... <laughs> introducing right, a new currency, <laughs> a new currency. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah, like we're, oh, we're both like Ultron. All right, so you buy a bunch currency. of red stars and you get. Just little currency with uh, it's for Ultron this, this, and Ultimate. This is what I was hoping for for Red Stars. More. Jeez. All right. At least, at least, at least, it looks like we're getting this though, and, and not not having to. Oh, will we get this or will? We... I'm reading this first before Maybe I read it out loud. Like I just had to read it. I was like, wait, what? This okay, new currency okay. will purchase Red Stars for characters like Ultron, and additional stars for Ultimus. So owed me those two, and then probably Doom. We'll say in the future, right? Hypothetically. So no, no silver or gold promotion credits, like. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. The new currency will give players some additional agency into getting red stars for specific characters okay, okay, in the okay, future. All right, all right that's, that's what I wanted. Please that's note that's that bad. the new currency is intended something to be recruited and redeemed over a period of time. First of all, yeah. everything in this game seems to be intended right. to be accrued and redeemed over a period of time. But let me read, let me translate. I have no idea what this means. This could be very bad. This could be good. I don't know what they're doing. I, don't, I don't worry. Know. I'm, I'm, I'm fluent in corporate <laughs> bullshit. Let me translate this for you. You're gonna hate how hard it is to get these. That's what this, like, you're gonna hate it. Like, that's what it's saying. Like, that's all it's saying. So, See, here's here's the thing. Ions are very hard to get. It's hard to get a character up to level five with their ISO class. I don't hate it though, because there's a road to progression. If, if red stars are super grindy, but there's that road there, and I'm not talking like the minimal silver and gold promotion credits that we get every month. I, that needs to be expanded a lot more considering the, the amount of characters that are released. But if, if there's a road there, I grindy as it is, I know eventually I'm gonna get there. Where if it's just RNG, I may work super hard for six months playing this game, grinding and never get it. So if 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 there's a, a, a agency or what what was that word? If there's a path to get there. I'll be happy with it. Yeah, like I'm always I'm a fan of RNG in games because they do have a like ooh like I played Magic the Gathering man I ripped packs open I was like ooh I got a thing yes I could go buy the thing and probably save more money but sometimes it feels better to open it I'm a fan yeah. of RNG the difference is there needs to be like I like RNG that rewards me not RNG that I rely on and red stars have gone it, it's 
at this point in the game, they're developing the game for Red Stars. It is. Mm-hmm. T- I, I don't think I'm the only person who feels this way, and I hate to harp <sighs> on it, but it's time to make Red Stars the a progression system. It is time to make it easier to progress a character to w- hypothetically six or seven Red Stars a month. Yes, I do. 100%. I do mean like yes. one yeah. character because not because guess what? There are still a ton of new characters coming out every month. There are yep. still a bunch of older characters that are coming out in a month. It is, I, I guarantee you, it's years of content for the average player to try to max out their roster with the things that are currently happening. And you're always going to prioritize newer characters. So if three new characters come out, we'll use, for example, uh, Bishop, Jubilee, and um, Iceman. Like, if it takes me three months to get them at, like, we'll say six red stars, not even seven, just five to six red stars. If that's how long it takes for me to get each of one a month, then what about the characters that released in between those time that I, you know what I mean? Like give yeah. characters the op, the, the agency to decide how they spend it, but don't like, it's time. I get it. You're still making money off them. I promise you, you still will. And red stars will be worth more money. If the rewards for opening red star orbs was more reliable ways to upgrade the characters you want and the orbs fit would feel better if you're like ooh, i opened the red five orb again this week not or like this month not like once every three months or something and you get like oh that sucks it was nebula as opposed to like oh no i wasted my red star orb on this character and it was nebula and now i'm mad at you like stop mm. stop feel bads like frustration marketing is fine but stop the feel bads like, I feel bads suck, and that's what caused people to leave. So, great, good, I look forward to it. Good. I'm undoubtful that it's going to be, like, we're all going to be like, this sucks, but, like, maybe we say it sucks enough and it sucks less. You know, that's how it works. Yes. All right. Last thing that we're going to talk about in the <laughs> under-improvements is the API. Could be For those very who good. don't know. Could be it, very, it's... very good. Down the road. I think, I think the initial, some of these initial ones won't be as... Well, what we so want. The a- what, what for those do who want, don't know, the, the API stands for Apple Pie Initiative, and it's where they're going to give every single one of us an apple pie. That's what I'm looking okay. forward to. Yeah. Can we trade uh, that in for different types of pies if, if we want to change it up every so often? You can, but it's not. It's your least favorite pie. So it's apple pie <sighs> or whatever your least favorite pie is. And the worst All thing right. is, if you All don't right. like apple pie, it ends up being like like two apple pies but in one like they bake an apple pie okay apple. it's literally the worst All so right. anyway. awesome awesome coming guys <laughs> a- application program interface this is a whole bunch of fancy tech talk to let you know it's the way to allow software to read your account from somewhere else so if you play star wars galaxy of heroes you know how to do it because Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes.gg will pull all of the data from your account, like how many things you have, which characters you have, what their investment is, and it will move them to a site that you can monitor and track outside of the game. What we've been looking forward to, I'm sure a lot of people, especially back when I was doing roster reviews, because there was a reason to in this game, uh, like we were looking for a way to get your roster from screen to uh, msf.gg or something so we can easily review them. Now there's plenty of options in there. I'll actually put some links in the description below to people who use them, but just be careful because these are, you know, a guy made them, a good guy, a smart guy, but they're still made by some guy on the internet. So just be careful when you do that stuff. I'm gonna read this now. Hopefully it has some cool stuff. This is something we've been working on for the better part of a year, and we're close to rolling out a beta version. We've been in close communication with the admins of MSF.GG, Pimp Toxie, and TyJ? TyJ. Yeah, to create an API that will allow their website, uh uh-oh, direct access to certain game information such as mission nodes and general info about characters, including but not limited to XP upgrades, ISO 8 upgrades, and traits will be yeah. processing from an alpha test to a live beta server in the near future with limited features. Our intent is to keep building on the API over time with more features, eventually opening to additional partners. We're committed to a long-term support of the community. This is one of the ways we are dedicated to that. So my uh-oh, I'm retracting immediately. My uh-oh, for those who don't know, was because they said it was specific to msf.gg. And I was like, I don't like an API that is gated behind one particular place. And I could think of a thousand reasons why. Not to say anything negative about msf.gg. Those guys work really hard. I use them as resources all the time. I support them. Link in the description below. But <laughs> but uh, that said, 
I understand it from a testing perspective. You want the people you trust the most. They are very good at what they do. They are very reliable. They try their best, and they've been working towards this for a while. So giving them the first crack at it before they open it up to a more open system is fine. Now, the thing about an API is people will accidentally imply that it gives them access to the files that other people shouldn't have. That's fundamentally not true. APIs give you the amount of access that they allow. So yeah. this, like, they could well, make an API. That's why they're rolling this out in stages. Yeah. They don't want people accessing all that other stuff. Uh, you know, everybody wants APIs that we could do our roster, our inventory and stuff. It's yeah. not going to be, that's not going to be in this initial phase but this is promising that in future iterations it will actually give us the stuff we want but this it's it, yeah. it, it seems like it is a test at this point and i'm fine giving, with it it's giving you data that we already know yeah like we want it right yeah. do we need it i don't think we need it but we want it so like it would be a huge time saver <laughs> yeah and it's a it's kind of a one and done thing once they finish this out all the work goes on all the content creators but it allows yeah. for a more in depth, there's a lot of games like this where you can click on a player and see everything that player has in the game. This API, yeah. this feature might even allow you to do that within the confines of the game, but also I would like to know, hey, I'm in war against somebody, what does their roster look like? Is that, that's not cheating, that's not taking advantage if everyone can do it. You just get yeah. to use this new resource. Uh, hey, I'm in arena. Let's see what the matchup against so-and-so looks like. How strong is his roster? It also helps you as a player make smarter decisions because you can track not the whaliest of whales. Like, don't try to emulate the people who spend millions of dollars. Don't take advice mm -hmm. from people who spend that much money. It's terrible. But, like, w w most part, not, like, in overall. But, like, at the same time, like, like you want to find out, like, hey, who's the strongest person in my arena shard? All right, cool. Who's the 100th strongest person in my arena shard? Oh, these mm -hmm. are the guys he's working on. It helps you make more informed decisions outside of coming to your favorite content creators like Tony Scangeli and Valley Flying. So I'm supporting of that. Cool. And now uh, we have the big one. one. Oh. This is the big oh, one. Uh, this, this is, is the big one. I was waiting for this one. Real-time arena. <laughs> your channel, we talked about Alliance War changes. It was yes. okay. Here's a line. Here's the real time. Oh, come, arena on, one. come on, come on, come on. I hope this is a good one. All right, let's go. Gold dust. Real time arena. We're taking community feedback into account on several aspects of the feature, including the recent uh -huh. change to players quitting before a match. They talked about it. Sure. This created some unintended edge cases. And by edge cases, you mean everyone was mad. Yeah. Uh, we also heard community feedback regarding some imbalances in matchmaking and a desire to have a greater incentive some, to focus on some, winning matches. We'll continue to explore options to incorporate feedback and iterate on the mode over time. Oh, they didn't say anything. What the heck? Maybe next week. Maybe next well, week I, when they address okay. the community feedback. We've also heard a community feedback regarding some imbalances in matchmaking and a desire to have a greater incentive to focus on winning matches. So here's the problem. Yes, I want a greater incentive to focus on winning matches. And I've mentioned many times, just add a victory gives you one orange training material piece just one mm -hmm. that's all it'll take i will immediately be happy if winning a fight in rta gives me one orange training piece that's how yeah. broke we are when it comes to training materials you know like yeah. they don't have to give us much for it to not suck that's something i mean on the other side if they're looking at that i swear and they're like all right we're gonna change rta to be about how many times you win with a battle pass for RTA, the RTA but Mojo Madness, whatever it's called. If they're changed that to be more about wins, well, then they've created another huge problem. Because again, I'm not trying to win with my, I'm not trying to win with my bio characters. You know, like I'm yeah, not inherently this... trying to win with my Cree characters. I'm it's trying to revamp. complete the ability. The whole revamp to the, to the system, the objectives, the battle pass. I mean, the whole thing needs a revamp to, for it to be a good work. Uh, system and focus on winning i think the tiny they little cannot... news i know that an rta store is in the works i know that they're trying to make one and that's what hmm. the seasons and everything that's the currency you're going to be getting i know that so okay. there's a chance that the reason they're like we're like seeing what works is because before they end up releasing whatever the real-time arena store yeah. or th to be fair they might just add something to the actual arena store because like i said they're going to combine arenas into like yeah, some yeah. one concept but whatever case it is they might just be looking to say like well what currencies notice that like when you do a blitz fight no matter what you get blitz store currency but when you win a real-time arena fight you get nothing 
So like yeah. there's clearly going to be designed something that you get for winning a real time arena fight. They I just don't think they've added either the currency or the store itself into the game to give us that yet. And we'll we'll see as we go on. Um, as for the summary, simple. Uh, you know, this is what they have planned for the first half of 2021. Uh, improvements. They do have a lot of stuff. It's a lot. Again, if you haven't checked Valley's video out, please check the beginning. This is all the new stuff. It's it's exciting. But let's be clear. I'm excited for the new things. I'm also kind of not in a great place with the game itself, like or the mechanics of the game as it is. So while yes, part of me is hype because I like this game and I like the stuff that they're doing and I like the stuff that they're talking about in the future, that only covers a base level of of like what's going on. Like you don't buy flowers, uh, you know, if you make a mistake, you buy flowers. Certain amount of times you're gonna get sick of getting flowers. And this kind of what this feels like to me. This feels yeah. like they're like, hey, here's we're sorry we cheated. Here's the flowers. Oh, we're sorry we cheated again. Here's the flowers. I know I'm being stupid, and it is stupid to compare it that way, but, like, it kind of is. I'm excited for what's happening. I am, and I don't want anyone to think otherwise, but there's always that part of me in the back of my head that's like, but fix what's broken, please. Like, yeah, there's still agreed. some... What about, what about you? What are your takeaway from this? Uh, I, there's there's a lot of words, and I hope, I hope they make good on a lot of these words. You know, they, there's a lot of things that they say. Uh, skins, they could be done in a very good way, in a very bad way. Um, Real-time arena that changes. These could be good. These could be not good. Uh, save squads, tabs. I'm glad that they're finally fixing it uh, like like they wanted to do. They've been doing, doing band-aids for a while. Um, all of this stuff looks promising, but uh, they, I, I want to see actions. I want to see the real uh, data implemented before, before I give a final verdict. But it sounds like it could be good a lot of it but a lot of it could go bad as well this is a we'll promotional see. piece right like this yeah. that's the point of this this is supposed to excite the players of the game about mm -hmm. what's happening in the future and i think it does that that doesn't change the overall mood of the game but that does do the one thing it's supposed to and you're supposed to see this kind of stuff as a matter of fact pokemon just released the news of the next three games they're going to release and oh. uh, it was at a really great time. I was like, oh, wow, I'm kind of bored playing Pokemon right now. New games nice. coming this year, next year, and the year after? Okay. Like, you know, like, okay, I I might be upset with certain things that are happening in a game, uh, but it's, it's important that the game doesn't just stop to yeah. fix the problems. They need to be able to fix the things that are currently wrong as well as move forward. And it has to be equal respect, not more than the other. So if that means they have to hire new people, I guess. So you're gonna have to spend some of your ten Wait, million dollars might, a month. They on might that. not hire. They might uh, get somebody to replace Jeff. Uh, Jeff is clearly a ghost in the code, <laughs> who cannot be fired, for he lives for us. <laughs> Thanks He's for the, the two hundred and fifty ghost shards, by the way, Jeff. That was a pun intentionally made. <laughs> Ah, so cool, that's cool. it. That's it, everybody. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Valley, do me a favor. Uh, tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on youtube.com backslash Valley Flying and uh, twitch.tv backslash Valley Flying 76. 76. Yeah. You're for like some reason, Valley Flying, was Valley Flying was taken when I tried to sign up for Twitch. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Just do what I do, the Tony Skinjili. Guys, thank you guys okay. so much for watching. Uh, have a good night. Have a great day. And look out for more content from me and Valley in the future. Peace. Woo!